Hi Virgo, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Virgo people that what you should expect in the month of October 2023 overall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out uh, three cards for uh, first 10 days, three for middle 10 days, and three for last 10 days of October. Uh, I'll pull one card out from Tarot, one from Wisdom of the Oracle, and one from Lenormand deck. Uh, so watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. Okay, so let's start your reading, Virgo. And uh, personal readings are available now for the people living in United States, UK, Europe, and Canada. Uh, so I do these readings on live video call on Skype. So if you are interested in, in buying a personal reading and you live in these locations, just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. The Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. Okay, so let's start with the first 10 days of October for Virgo people. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. The Virgo. One. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. Okay. To the Danimon deck. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo. First 10 days of October. Okay. So, this, this looks really positive, Virgo. The first card here we have is Four of Wands. So, Virgo, uh, it's, it's really good. It's basically an upgrade in some area of your life. Uh, so, for some of you, uh, if you're married, your marriage will be... Um, uh, sorted out in a very good way, in a very positive way. And if you're not married, maybe some of you will get engaged or maybe will just decide to get committed or uh, um, decide to get married or uh, to settle down in life or just get committed. For some of you, maybe uh, you will have some kind of uh, good elevation about your house where you live in. Uh, like it can be you buying a new house, moving a house or uh, doing some very nice renovation uh, in your house. But overall, it's basically uh, and if you are in a relationship, in some kind of relationship that will upgrade, that will go to the next level uh, in the first 10 days of uh, October. Then we have more. So Moon in Lenamand is basically different from Moon in Tarot. Uh, moon in Lenamand is, uh, is very positive and it's about maybe you'll get some kind of recognition and it, it's also connected to emotions. Uh, so you'll be feeling very emotional but in a very good way. For some of you, maybe you'll fall in love in the uh, first place part of October or um, maybe your emotions will be rising high or you'll get emotional clarity uh, in the first 10 days of October. It's looking really good. And then we have new life. Again, a very positive energy. So that means that uh, you uh, will, for some of you, maybe you'll decide to start your life from zero in a very good, positive vibe and uh, in high spirits, great spirits. And for some of you, maybe uh, it's like um, uh, you will start a new thing. It can be a new relationship. It can be a new job, a new work, new project, something like that. But I, I it seems to be... Uh, very uh, like an overall energy like you'll feel that it's like uh, you're born again for some of you it's looking really good I think October month is going to bring some good things for you uh, Virgo okay now let's move on to the middle 10 days of October okay messages for Virgo middle 10 days of October messages for Virgo Middle 10 days of October. 
messages for Prabhupada. Metal 10 days Prabhupada. Okay, uh, messages for verbal, middle tender over. Messages for verbal, middle tender over. Okay. Messages for verbal, middle tenders over. Okay. So the. Uh, now, the middle 10 days are a little bit tricky. First, we have three of swords. Maybe uh, somebody will say something or do something which can hurt you a little bit. Uh, three of swords is a very temporary energy, so don't worry much about that. Uh, but I feel that uh, it's not necessary that uh, uh, it's like overall uh, hurt or something like that. It's like uh, uh, somebody... It can be very small, like somebody can say something which can cause some kind of distress for you or uh, it's basically a heartbreak energy, but it's not like a big heartbreak. Uh, it's like um, a small, because this is a very limited time frame reading, so it doesn't mean that uh, something big is going to happen. I think you'll just feel a little bit low or somebody will say something and that can affect you in a negative way. And after that, we have cross. It's kind of the same energy. It's like um, uh, you will feel a little bit burdened or sad about something. So, of course, these are general readings. So, it can be, it's going to be different for different people. But, yeah, there is a low energy in the middle part for you. And also, for some of you, maybe you'll be more inclined towards religion or spirituality in the middle part. Uh, like, uh, I don't know uh, in what way, but some of you will be inclined to religion, some of you will be inclined to spirituality, practices maybe, religious or spiritual practices, something like that. And then we have observer. So there is less action in the middle, but more observing and contemplating and thinking. You will be deeply observing something. Uh, or and also I, I feel that you'll be planning you'll be looking far ahead uh, in your future in the middle part of um, October there is just one glitch maybe a little bit of it can be just for a few hours that your mood can come down and uh, somebody will say something or do something and you will not feel good about it now let's move on to the third part the last 10 days of October. Messages for work. 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 Last ten days. Okay. First, we have moon. So now we have both the moons of tarot and Lenamand here. So uh, you will have some fears. Uh, so uh, it's not that something is happening here. It's just the fears fabricated in your head about something so that those fears can make you a little bit indecisive about something and uh, uh, I see some foggy energy uh, around your thoughts uh, because we have thinker here also so I think you will be you will be a little bit overthinking um, uh, in the last part of uh, October uh, you'll be overthinking and um, uh, maybe you will be a little bit scared about something or you'll have some fears blowing up in your head uh, just for nothing because it's basically uh, it's going to be psychological or overthinking um, so as a result of this overthinking and this indecisiveness you'll talk a lot because we have birds in the middle. So lots of phone calls, lots of messaging. It's, it's more like verbal talking. So you'll talk a lot. 
um, and uh, also maybe uh, something in your life will be discussed um, in, I, I would not say public, but I would say like in your circle or maybe in your friends or family, not kind of a gossip, but it's like uh, lots of people, maybe lots of people will be telling you to do something or uh, uh, like it, it's kind of a noise. It's very noisy. So you'll be, I don't know, convincing people or uh, people will be talking around you. Lots of talking here. Uh, but overall, I think it's it's nothing big. It's just in your thoughts. Maybe your thoughts will be overloaded and you because you'll be thinking a lot. Uh, so uh, it's just overthinking and nothing more than that. But overall, I think it's a positive month for you. And I see some very positive progress, especially in the first half of uh, October and um, it's like uh, looking good. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.